Hey guys, Vizella Productions here, and welcome to my review of the CyberPower PC Gamer Ultra model. It's in the C series. It doesn't really have that much of a name, but it's um the AMD FX 300 uh, 400 uh, model. Um, and you can see it on the screen right here. It has interesting like um it looks really it, it looks really thin on the picture, but it's actually normal size. But I don't. It might just be the picture in eh. so in case you aren't uh, don't know what this is this is a cyber power PC uh, gamer computer and the gamer ultra is a series of computers but I focus on this one because it's one of the cheapest models and believe it or not it's not too terrible so um, make sure if I do anything if I um, I'm new t I'm not no sorry I'm not new to YouTube but if there's anything you think I can improve on, tell me in the comment section below. Okay, so for a processor, this has a AMD FX4300. Um, the processor speed is 3.8 gigahertz. Um, processor cores for RAM, 8 gigabytes, and a hard drive disk, one terabyte. Um, I'm kind of iffy on the hard drive disk because it's not in solid state, but that's kind of it. Um, Hard drive um, uh, speed 7200. Um, it has an optical drive, believe it or not. That's I was surprised about that. Um, it does have a preloaded Windows 10 Home 64-bit edition graphics card, AMD Radeon R7 250. Eh, about that. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it for the base features. So basically, this computer runs gaming exceptionally well um of course if you have like if you have ukulele for example i this is just me if you use this computer and have ukulele on all high settings you'll probably get 30 frames 20 frames if you have it on all low you'll easily be able to keep uh, 60 frames especially when recording so that's good um besides that um recording with the um the system is fairly straightforward. I'm thinking of abandoning o OBS soon and going to shadow play, but that's just me. Um, the computer, actually, I was surprised about this, but the computer, um, the, uh, the processor type was actually really strong for the type of computer. And, um, again, like, I know, I know, I, pr I sound young, and I, you're probably saying, oh, you don't know that much about computers. And yeah, I, I don't make computers, but I know enough about computers to know how they work. And like, oh, I, I don't know everything, but I own, I know some simple features about them and a couple advanced things like replacing stuff. So that's kind of the that's the base features. Another thing I have to comment on though is actually that this computer is really close to handling VR. It's the only problem is that the graphics card cannot do it. In case you were wondering, it can run VR at around 60-70 frames, which you're probably saying, whoa, that's great. However, it's not actually. For VR to work its magic and actually you feel immersed, you have to have 90 frames at least. So that's kind of a bummer, but of course, I'm planning to upgrade the graphics card, trade it in for money, the one I have now, trade it in for money so I can go to the newer one. And I'll talk about that graphics card later when I get it. But um, that's kind of where I'm going now. As I said before, I'm not very, I don't really like the hard drive because solid state are pretty much hard drives, but way faster. And even though it's a terabyte, I found like a terabyte solid state drive for 30 bucks, I think it was on Amazon. So like that was, that, that's a better deal than probably the terabyte one. Of course, I just, I'm looking for speed and something a gaming YouTuber can use. So, that's the, uh, the base features. Um, time to comment on stuff. Here's the part, the worst part about the computer. It doesn't have wireless internet! Yep, make sure to remember this. It does not have wireless internet or integrated Bluetooth. None of that. However, it does have... 10 times 100 times 1000 Ethernet, and I recommend, uh, I'll, I'll have like a video of them right here, 
These are D-Link uh, transfer cables for 60 bucks. It was on sale, but normally this one, this model is 70. These basically turn your power line into an ethernet. So if you don't have ethernet close to you, get this. But if you do, just plug it in. But ethernet is actually a lot more stable than Wi-Fi. So if you're doing gaming in YouTube, you're gonna want ethernet so you get faster upload times and faster gaming. But I was surprised about that. Another thing is that the, um, the optical drive, guess where it's located? It's located on the front, but there's like a little panel. Um, so I can't show you any footage because I am away right now. I'll show you more about the computer. Um, right now I just have footage before I left, um, to go to this, um, different place for a while. Um, besides that, it has no webcam. It does come with a USB gaming keyboard and USB gaming mouse. I'm using those. I think that they're just basic cyber power stuff. And by the way, I trust CyberPower more than anything, and any other computer hardware maker. I know that's probably an unpopular opinion, but I just think CyberPower is is my is my deal. So, um, modem, no. Uh, USB port is four on the front and four on the back. Um, the, of course, that is pretty. That's a lot for a computer. I was surprised about that, but um. Uh, because I have a laptop, I'm recording this now because I'm moving places. Not, I'm not moving. I'm just, like, going here for a while, as I said before. Um, I got this thing from Staples for 20 bucks, and it just gives you... It takes one working USB port and um, has an adapter for five of them. So, now I have an extra... Thir now I have 13 USB ports. Actually, no, I think it's four, actually. So, um, 12 USB ports. Um, so, besides that, the, what else does it have? VGA output, yes. DVI output, one on the back. HDMI output, yes. Um, component output, uh, zero. Um, and then it just, um, basic kind of stuff bes uh, besides that. Um, processor cache and system. Like, if you want to check out all of the de very detailed specs, um, I will have two links. The one to the link, um, on CyberPower's website. And one to the Best Buy one. I got it from Best Buy because I just think it's, um, I just trust Best Buy, um, more because they're, I know I, tr I said I trust Tiger Power, but I've had more experiences with Best Buy, so I just chose Best Buy. This computer, by the way, um, I haven't even uh, mentioned the price of all this. 679 Canadian dollars, or 80, 680. Um, in American, it would be around 500, but of course, Canadian money's going down, so it's more expensive. But still, it's um, it's it's exceptional. So the power supply, I was kind of surprised about 350 watts. It's not the best thing in the world. You can get 500 watts for next to nothing these days, but I still like it. Does the job? It doesn't. It doesn't like slow anything down really. Um, besides that, it does come, now, here's something I have to mention, on the Best Buy one, I don't know if it's on the Sirepower one as well, it comes with one year free of McAfee Antivirus Plus. I have this, I don't have it installed yet, and I'll get to that why, I want to get to why in a second, but that is good if you're really secure about the internet, but if you are planning to become a gaming YouTuber, you may want to save this for later because um, antiviruses severely slow down your thing. And if you want to have the fastest times ever, just get Windows Defender. And it actually comes with it, so you don't really need to get it. But And then you'll, you'll just see, you'll, you'll just feel a lot better. So that is um, uh, the base feed, um, pretty much everything that it has to say. Um, it weighs 14.52 um, 14 kilograms, it has one year of uh, uh, warranty, and that's the base features. Now, time to get into what I think of the computer. Is it worth the price tag? And honestly, I'm going to say it depends. If you are a gaming YouTuber, and you have been using a crappy laptop just like me, and you need an upgrade, get this computer. It's it's next to, it's like dirt cheap for a gaming computer. It runs games at lowest settings, exactly how you want it. Recording is perfectly fine. 
and really it's not that like if you um like for if you don't have that great of a computer this is a steal now if you do have a good computer and you're just looking for a small upgrade i would like let's say you have a gaming computer that's not as strong as this but it's strong enough to handle maybe 50 or 60 frames on on lower settings and you just want we're thinking of an upgrade i'd re and if it's a if it's a laptop then you want to get this because i i just don't think gaming laptops are that great for youtube that's my personal opinion uh you can get one if you want um but i would hold off if you have a desktop or a laptop that has um something like this and the reason is because you can get it upgraded for like not that much. Let's say it's the graphics cards that are your problem. This computer also doesn't have that great of a graphics card for gaming. That's why I'm looking into a VR one. So really, it depends. Of course, if you have a computer better than this, then you're not gonna get this one. Um, and like, I j it really depends on what you um what you want. But if I were to give this ra computer a rating out of ten. I would give this computer a 7 out of 10. That is pretty high still. That is still a pretty good rating. Now, um, the uh, the people who rated this computer online gave it a 4.2 out of 5. I agree with that. I just gave it a 7 out of 10 uh, because um, my personal, like, smaller thing. If I were to do a, um, if I were to do a 4, like, um, out of 5, I'd do 4. Um, it has, like, 85% positive and 14%, um, critical. So, um, yeah. Really, really depends on what you're using. Some other thing I have to say, though, is that apparently lots of people were saying that 4 gigabytes are missing from the RAM. I have an experience that I've, it says 8 gigabytes, and it runs 8 gigabytes. So, um, yeah. This is my review. I'm. I was thinking of posting an unboxing. I have it all recorded, but I just don't know if it because it's kind of a cringy unboxing, but still. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to tell me anything I can improve in the comment section below. Anything you liked, anything you disliked, and I'll make sure to get it fixed next time. Hope you guys enjoyed, and see you.